The Fighter, Episode 2. So tell me, why do you open the door? Like I told you before, they said my son had been seriously injured. He had been practicing Sambo. Mm -hmm. Where was this? Not far from our home, near the station. How often does he practice? Three times a week. What time? At seven. What was the time then? Around four o'clock. So then why did you open the door? You said your son's practice was three hours away. I guess I panicked. Once I heard hospital- All right, all right. Who could have notified you about your son's injury? Which one of those people with him was the most likely one to look for you? No one. So why did you open the door? Do you have children? A son, 18 months. Then go ask your wife. If they told her something happened to her son, would she even hesitate before opening the door? How is Mr. Shekhov doing? He's in a coma. Doctors say it looks bad. Read this and sign. Hey, partner! Can you stay here? I'll be right back. Seems about right. That's 258 and... Also 259. Here, look. It checks out. Why are you giving me this? I don't need it. May I come in? What have you got? It's the same story. She isn't lying, but you can't be too sure. The only excuse she has for her actions is her emotions, but you can't find any solid proof. That it's a real possibility that she's the informant. Here's what we'll do. Detain her for 30 days. Prepare a document saying she's working with some criminal gang. No problem. Maybe just three days? The woman has an underage son. Three days is too short. We won't have time to work her over. And if, God forbid the professor dies, the DA's office will eat us alive. The son isn't your concern. Let Foster Care handle this if she doesn't have any relatives. Yes, sir. Danila, that's not bad. Sharper and more powerful leg swing. Now that's better. Good day. Stop. Good day. How may I help you? We're with Criminal Investigation. Do you train Viktor Stroyev at this gym? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm from Foster Care. Where is the boy? Go to room 46. You can ask them there. Thank you. Detain my mother? Are you all crazy? She is completely innocent. Let her go. Let her go. Victor, please stop behaving like that. Why should I, Mom? They have no right to hold you here. They just don't want to figure out who the real criminals are. You raise your voice again, you're going to the special detention center, along with the other juvenile criminals. Forgive me, he won't do it again. Behave. Victor, dear, don't worry, it's going to be all right. It really was my fault. I shouldn't have opened the door, and because of that, Mr. Shekhov is now at the hospital. But I'm sure they are working hard to clear this up. In the meantime, I'll ask Olga to come and check on you. She'll cook your meals for you as well, only while I'm gone. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. Under the law, if you don't have any close relatives who can watch him, we'll have to contact foster care instead. And they'll take Victor in. He'll stay at an orphanage for the time being. Victor, stop it! Please stop it, Victor! No, Victor! Mom, don't beg. It's no use. I'll go to the orphanage. If these guys don't make this right, I'll go join the criminals. They're going to regret this. Victor. Well, that's not surprising. It seems like we have a criminal group right here. All in one family. How are you related to Mrs. Stroyev? I coach her son, Victor. That's all? Yeah. 
Then what are you doing here at the station? The boy's only 14, so I wanted to check if you are really the police. Or will you take him? We called social services. The orphanage? I don't know. Police officer. Is it really necessary to keep Miss Troyev in prison? I mean, he's a dignified, well-educated... Hold on a second. Alonkov. Understood. Oh, you said she's well-educated, Mr. Igor? Listen, criminals today used to be nice and well-educated individuals. Laborers, engineers, even doctors. The sad truth is times have changed. The professor has died. Can I see Mr. Oyev? What for? For support. Sorry, the son's Sambo coach is not on the list of relatives or allowed visitors. In fact, she isn't allowed any visitors at all. Don't worry, sweetheart. Don't be scared. I promise they'll sort all this out soon. I'm not scared. Remember to keep calm. It'll be easier for you to stand your ground. All right, the car's here. It's time. You'll need a lawyer for tomorrow. Do you have one? No, I don't. Then I'll assign you a public attorney. You can go in. Stroyev? Mm-hmm. Well, Stroyev, let's begin. Got lice? He got away, sir. Let him run. Let's wait and see what that Sambo coach is made of. There's a chance he could be our man. Mr. Davidoff, Lobov is coming down. Please wait for him. Tell him I'll wait outside. All right. for a sec. They won't let me go out. Go take the garbage out or something. Come on. What is it? Did Sharky do something? This isn't about Sharky. I need to see Mr. Davidoff. What's his address? Mm, why don't you just ask him at practice? Are you an idiot? I need it right now. It's the cops. They're looking for me. What for? It's a long story. Do you have a computer? Mm-hmm. You said you could find the address of any girl from school, right? Yeah, I can do that. But I can't now since my dad's home. <sighs> Listen, Alec. I need to save my mother. You claim to be Mr. Know-it-all, right? Prove it. 
I'll wait for you here. Oh, that's not good. But it's not new for someone on the inside to open the door. He was probably in on it. She wasn't. Why are you so sure about that? She's an intelligent woman who has no criminal record, but is suddenly associated with a criminal gang. Incredibly smart people will do anything if they're hungry. Bobo, what are you saying? If I'm good at anything, it's reading people. It's not her. Why don't you look for the actual criminals instead? You'd have to sell what you steal. And paintings aren't like Japanese TVs. You need an expert for this. Do you have one? Well, it's not my specialty, but we do have an antique specialist in another department. I'll ask him. When? Tonight? What's the rush, Davidov? This isn't a Sambo match. Antique items are a private business. If you barge in there head-on, you're just gonna get your head bashed in. We need to find an informant. I can talk to the guy I know. Since they mentioned the boy's injury, that means they knew he was doing Sambo. They probably put him in an orphanage. Maybe he's there already. Well, it's not prison. We can talk to him. Call me tomorrow. It's weird they haven't pinned you down for it yet. If it were me, you'd be the prime suspect. Five here, over. Three to five. Target is leaving the location, moving towards Baker Street. Send someone to cut him off. Copy that. You got away? Yes, sir. How did you find my address? I just found it, sir. My mother is innocent. I know. Let's talk inside. Thank you. You want more? No, thank you. Do they know? Yes. A lot of kids at school knew. All the guys from the club. Alec, Mom, you. What I mean is, they know that you practice Sambo, but I'm the only one who knows the place where your mom worked. Did you tell anyone else? I don't know. I guess so. All right. I'll take it from here. They must be looking for you, so you can stay at my place. If that's what you want. My wife went to get goods. And my son, he minds his own business. Thank you. Don't go outside. Skip school for a few days. Maybe three. I'll make sure you can catch up later. Okay, but do you know how you'll help mom? I promise to do everything I can, and I can do a lot when I'm angry. Between the two of us, I like your mother. I can tell. And she likes you too. Hmm. Well then, it seems we'll be all right. It's hard to take some grapplers down. Will you tell me about legendary Sambo grapplers later? Every single one. Even the older ones. From what period? They had grappling championships in the early 20th century. There were a lot of great athletes, and there still are. That's why we always take the victory. Drink up. You're saying Mr. Igor Davidov, the suspect in Professor Shakov's case, came to see you while he's under surveillance? What are the chances of that happening? He wanted to see me to discuss the case. Mm -hmm. We talked about that detained woman. He thinks she's innocent. Uh, you go ahead. They all think the same. Tell me. How long have you known him? Not long. And how did you meet? I bought a car from him. That's good. You understand the situation. You know our relationship with the investigation department. They'll twist the situation, saying we're delaying the investigation. I don't want to give them that, understand? It's better if we get going. What's that? You just received a new assignment. It's for professional training. 
You're gonna need to lay low for a bit. So take off your earring because you're going back to boot camp. Hello, may I speak to Lobov? Lobov is out on a business trip. For how long? For two weeks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Yuri, how are you? Hey there. It's Igor Davidov. Remember me? Oh, Igor. Haven't heard from you in ages. You're hard to forget. I feel the same. Let's have lunch soon. I'd like to talk to you. You, Stevie, and Valera. Are you free? Sounds good. Couldn't you have told us earlier? No, I couldn't. People with an empty stomach tend to take news negatively. Usually people don't talk about problems at lunch. Is that so? Then why did you call only the three of us and no one else? There's more men out there. It's not just us. Whoever invites pays. And I don't have enough for more than three people. Plus, I thought you guys deal with criminals, correct? You're still honest as always. I may be wrong, but I believe one of the men at the table is Stevie the Sensei. <laughs> the man who controls the northern marketplace and trade zone? Mm -hmm. hmm. More to our coach than meets the eye. We're on the right path. Let's go tell the others. I'll pass. It's all a misunderstanding. You think I know all the criminals here, but I don't. I retired a long time ago. Moved to America. At Brighton Beach. You've always loved traveling. With all the experience you have had, you know better than anyone else how these things work. Dealing with metal is completely different from paintings. I know. Why wasn't Mona Lisa cast out of bronze? All right, then. Let's put it this way. It doesn't really matter who did what or who knows something. I just need your help. I'm not asking for much. Still, thank you for coming today. I'm sorry, Igor. I already told you before. I don't know anything about this. I know a guy who would buy gold in any form. But paintings? Those are just far too specific. We can pay for all this. And hurt my feelings? Let us toast. That's all? That's all I have. Bring more tomorrow, got it? Get lost. How much did you get? What did you do? Police came to the school looking for you. I robbed a bank. <laughs> Be honest, did you tell Sharky my mom worked as a cleaner for the professor? 
No. How long have you two been talking? Not long. I have to give him some cash, so he'd leave me alone. How did you get it? Stealing? Yeah, sometimes from my parents. What else should I do? He can't walk with me every day, and his group is always waiting for me. Whenever you're not around, Alec, try to remember. Did you mention to Sharky that my mom worked for the professor? I really don't remember, okay? Well, I don't think I did. Why? Are you thinking... he did it? He's the only jerk who knew my mom was working for the professor. He could have told someone. Now that you mention it, he did say he knows some criminals. Alec, I really need your help. Here, take these. Those are my house keys. There's an axe in the cellar. Get it for me, and I'll wait for you at the parking lot. Let me give you a ride. No thanks, I'd rather walk. I said get in! What were you thinking? Who would talk to you about that in public? I thought we never kept secrets from each other. It's a high-profile case, as the cops put it. A high-visibility case. It's very easy to trace the source. People don't want to deal with that. But someone will, right? Yes, of course. Go to the shop. Tell security you have a rare Roman coin to show them, so they can let you in. Ask for Albert. How do you know this? I just do. There were three of them. One is dead, another in jail. He's the only one left. Why are you telling me this? Do you remember the tournament in Chisinau? When a Dagestani got me into a submission lock? I do. You gave him your ankle, held up till the end, wouldn't tap out. Do you know why? Why? You were looking at me. Everyone was. Not really. Everyone was waiting for me to tap out. You were looking at me on the clock, waiting for the bell. You believed I would hold out. Yuri, an ankle is not an elbow. I knew you could endure it. It's not about that. It's just that. We've always looked out for each other. That's true. <sighs> Indeed. All right, go on. We didn't talk about this. Also, I know of a good lawyer for your woman. Don't worry about the fee. I got it. Before you go, one more thing. I'm not sure. But I think that somebody has been following you. Wonderful. Another one. Good. One more time. Yes. Put your arm out further. Do it. Hey, well. Oh, okay. Igor, my dear friend. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. Now tell me something. Are you still training your boys? Yes. You're still training criminals? Well, we'll never really know whether they're criminals or not criminals. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are. It's possible. Well? Never mind. Well, do you have an extra sports suit in here? For you? Mm-hmm.
Base, base the three. What's the situation? Base, we are in position. The target has not come out. Copy that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you with anything? Coins or military objects? You buying or selling? I'm selling. A Roman coin. Some guy at the marketplace told me that Albert could give me a proper selling price. One moment. Good afternoon. Please take a seat. Good afternoon and thank you. I've been told you have a rare coin for me. So please, may I take a look? My apologies. I didn't lie about my intentions, but that was my only choice to avoid hurting your security. So you don't have the coin? Let me introduce myself. I'm Igor Davidov, honored master of sports in Sambo, three-time national champion and European champion. I'm an Olympic silver medalist. I can sell you my medals if you want. I have a lot of them at my home. Olympic cups and golden and grape watches. And I'm willing to give all those to you for free, on the condition that you help me. How? Professor Shakov's paintings. He has Makovsky, Korovin, and other known names. A woman who cleaned the place as a side job unknowingly opened the door for the robbers. And the police have detained her. I need to find the men behind this so she can be released immediately. That's all I want. How can I help? I read about that horrible case in the papers, of course. And if someone offers me something from Shakov's collection, then... Then you'd immediately call the police. Sure, Mr. Albert. That's what you say to the investigators. I know who you are and what you do here, and to be honest with you, I don't care. But you'll never make any kind of money from Shakov's paintings. I won't let you. Believe me, I have prepared all the documents, and I won't hesitate in giving them to the authorities. So even if you kill me... It's not going to solve the problem, and I believe your bosses are the type who don't want their business getting out in public. One must learn how to read signs sent by the higher-ups. What did you say? Perhaps you coming here will save me from serious problems. I'm expecting pictures of the paintings today, and they are probably the ones you have been looking for. I do have a request. I don't want any blood spilled here, and you never saw me. We have a deal. He's finally here. Don't touch him now. I need 30 more minutes. Victor is waiting for me. At what time? Three. Go on, get going. I know who you are. Where are the paintings? Hey, old man! What's your problem? Huh? What painting? This is for calling me an old man. These ones. Answer me, where are the paintings? I'm going to break your arm. Talk! What is it? Bon appetit. Where are the paintings? <laughs> Who the heck do you think you are? Igor Davidov, and I'm a Sambo coach. An innocent woman has been detained because of you. So this is how you play, Davidov. A little white goat went outside the hut. A little white goat went into the woods. I know you have the artworks. I have no plans of leaving here until you tell me where they are. Oh, and the thief's name. You stole them, old sport. 
Our guys just jumped the gun. Well, where is that sucker? I'll bash his frickin' head in for being late. Let him pay a fine for every minute, right? No, let's make him kiss our boots. Oh, yeah? Why don't you kiss mine instead? Hey, what the... Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, Victor. Easy. Put the axe down, okay? Are you on drugs Put or something? down. Tell me where the paintings are or else. What paintings? I don't know what you're saying. The ones my mother is in jail for. I know nothing about no paintings. Calm down. You're dead. <laughs> Stop! You coward. You think you're good because of the axe? Sambo's a joke. Come on, get over here. You will tell me everything now. What no, Grappler? Come on. Let him go! Back no. off or I'm gonna break his leg. Let me go. Let me go, Victor. So tell me, who's the sucker now? Where are the paintings? I don't know, Victor. Let me go. Ah! It was Dennis. Dennis. He was the one behind it. He's your coach's son. He ordered us to keep you away from the house. He told us to follow your mom around. Hey, let go. You're hurting him. Let go of me, Victor. It hurts. <sighs> You jerk! The guns in the bag belong to the gang. The law only needs one to bring us all down. But it's still possible to fix the damage. You can pay a fine, and you can save your son and your whore. If the paintings sell, then we can let this pass. If not, we'll have a problem. So if I were you, I'd look for buyers that sit here running my stupid mouth. What's with a face, eh? You're not at the Olympics. This is life with real consequences. Hey, fellas! Dennis's dad would like to leave now. No sudden movements, just stay calm. Your girl will do her time, and she will get out. She'll taste even better after the long break. So don't worry about it. I'll ask you one last time. Where are the paintings? It's in your, your country house. They're with Dennis. You're gonna rat your son out to the cops? Is your woman more important? Mom, I'll get it. It's for me. How'd it go? It was all right. Hey, can I spend the night in your garage tonight? You got two keys, right? Yeah. But aren't you staying at your coach's place? Not anymore. Why not? Just because. Can I have the keys? Alex, don't keep the door open. I'll drop by tomorrow. And bring me something to eat. Mm -hmm. Yuri, it's Davidov again. You mentioned you had a good lawyer for me. Can I meet him? Immediately. Bring her in. You have five minutes. It's my pleasure to meet you, Miss Ludmila. I am going to be your lawyer. I'll have you sign the papers today. For now, I'm going to be leaving the two of you. <laughs> 
Thanks very much. All of Mr. Yuri's friends are also my friends. It's okay, I know everything will work out soon, you'll see. You won't go to jail, I promise. And Victor? Victor, stay with me. We can all live together soon. Is this a proposal? It sure is. I know it's sudden, but will you marry me? We don't have I... much time, yes or no? You leave me no choice. <laughs> is it really going to be all right? I'm not going to stop until it is. Hello, Coach. Hi, where's Victor? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're a bad liar. Where is he? I think he might be in trouble now. Sure you want to do that? Yeah, I'm sure. Why did you leave? I can't trust you anymore. What do you mean? I talked to Sharky. He said that the paintings were stolen by my son. So what? How are you going to save my mom now? Your own son did it. Didn't I promise you? that I would do everything I can to get her out. Let's go home. It's cold out here, and you need a shower. See that? That's the boy over there. Let's report to the station. That's right. Let the boy walk. We can't let that coach go. My gut's telling me it's him. He might lead us to the paintings. He's behind all of this. We don't need another screw-up from field surveillance. I've spoken to them, and they said they'll be sending two teams tomorrow, so that even if he loses the first one, the second team's ready. Make it three. Don't let him out of your sight. Yes, sir. I've got news. Everything went perfectly. He lost one team at the railway station. The second team is out now, tracking him. Send your men for more reinforcements. We might need the added number. We may have to clamp down on him. Yes, sir. Oh, hi there, Mr. Davidov. You know, I haven't seen you and your wife in a long time. Hi there, Leo. This this is keeping me in town. Is Dennis here as punishment? I don't see him a lot. He's always inside the house, rarely going out. No. He wanted to have some fresh air. Is he there now? No. He left about ten minutes ago, on his bike. Must have gone to the store, I guess. I'll go wait for him.
I'm sorry, Igor. I spotted some men in a car. They're outside your house. I don't know about your business, but I didn't do five years for nothing. And I remember their tricks. I know they're cops. Thanks a lot, Leo. Hey, listen. Could you lend me your car for today? The thing is, I sold mine, and I need to bring a bunch of stuff to town. I'll put some gas in it. No problem. Sleeping. Hold on, Kov. Colonel, sir. Boltsov speaking. He's loading the paintings. He's gonna move them. Are you sure? We're watching him now. Take him. Yes, sir. Stop right there. Igor Davidov, you were under arrest for suspicion of robbery. I first heard about the paintings from Ludmila, then I decided that I could rob the professor's apartment. What for? The money. I'm getting a divorce. It's for a new apartment. Hmm. And who are you with? I met them by chance. I'm not much of a drinker. <sighs> but I happened to meet them at a bar. I only know their first names, Stevie and Valera. They're not locals. I'm confused. How are they supposed to get their share of the profit after you've sold them? We agreed to meet after a month. That's when I'd give them their share. Hmm. A gang operating on trust. You can let Miss Royev go. She doesn't know anything. It's urgent. Mm -hmm. Stay with him. Mr. Davidov? Uh, oh, right. There we go. Oh, wait. Who are you? I... Yes? Can I come inside? Yes. Alina Davidov? Yes. I've been issued a search warrant for this house. Your husband has been arrested for suspicion of robbery. That's not true! Stop! Can I get up? Go ahead. Free to go. You are a bad liar. Your son turned himself in, wrote a full confession. Now I wonder, are you a bad father because you have a criminal son? Or a good one because he loves you? <laughs> 